Hey YouTube, this is Gohan from Dragon Ball Z. You're watching Amaturay Killer HD, the ultimate Super Saiyan. Hakai. What is up guys, it's me, I'm Killer, bringing you a video on Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now this man is either getting updated or just got updated. It all depends on when I release this video. I might release it before the update, which means that he's getting updated. <laughs> but if you guys saw my previous videos that I made two videos ago about the massive patch uh, balancing that's coming out for Dragon Ball Idol, this guy is getting a buff. Now the move that is getting basically buffed is this right here, okay? It is going from 11% to 13%, all right? That 2% increase might be a benef might be a factor that will increase your chances to do even more damage or even have him just be that secondary or even third damage dealer as a tank, which is actually kind of insane. So if you guys don't know what Super Saiyan 3 Goku does, if you guys are new to the game, also, if you guys don't even have an SSS unit on the team already, I would recommend trying this guy out, especially on a bleed team or even a uh, critical team with Miracle Trunks. So as we were talking about this, this is a hit guaranteed, meaning no one can dodge it, not even Beerus, no one with high dodge, it is hit guaranteed. He does attack the back row. It does 40% chance to stun, and then this will be changed to 13% of own max HP, which means what exactly? Get that HP up, all right? More HP it has, more damage it will do. So for the passive, uh, performs a normal attack with 4% of own max HP. There's a 20% chance to stun, prioritize the back row, okay? That's why it's good to have them with Miracle Trunks. They both attack the back row, boom, ba beam, ba boom. So the crit rate increases by 20%, which is also very good, and then convergence of a random present Super Saiyan. You have Miracle Trunks, Miracle Trunks goes, Super Saiyan 3 Goku goes, Miracle Trunks goes again. So Miracle Trunks attacks twice, and the convergence is a 50% uh, damage. So if, let's say, uh, Miracle Trunks does 500k damage, as an example, the second time he goes with convergence, it will do 250k damage. That's just an example. And then this one right here is actually pretty cool. It does unyielding. And now because Super Saiyan 4 Goku is being nerfed, this unyielding will actually still happen because Super Saiyan 4 will only give lethal to evil units. Super Saiyan 3 Goku is not evil, so he will stay in battle as unyielding. And sometimes it's actually very annoying when he's unyielding because he can get an extra turn in. He could even kill someone. So that's, that's what it is. All right, if we God Evolve him, one thing that he does is when there is 50% chance to trigger counterattack when his HP is lower than 10%. Now, if he is a tank build base, it will take him a long time to get to 10%. And with that 10%, I mean, at least he's going to get in a counterattack. But the thing is, is that it won't be doing too, too much damage. Because I believe counterattack is also... Uh, reduced to 50%. So, um, so same thing. If it does 100k damage for a regular attack, it will do 50%, or it will do 50k for regular damage. Uh, the passive, it's critical damage 40%, which is a lot. Uh, tenacity 30%, and then the last one is skill damage increased by 30, crit increases by 10, and penetration by 20. So, and it's very easy affinities. Super Saiyan 2 Goku, or just I think, yeah, this is Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2 Goku, Super Saiyan Go Tanks, and then Kid Buu. And then we go to Review. Usually, if you want to see what the unit is best for or what um, they should be combined with, you can just see this. Or you can match up with your boy, Amaturi Killer, and we can talk about different things. So, first and foremost, we're going to go to my unit right here. So, let's go to, let's say, Belmod, for example. Okay, so first of all, when we're talking about marks for Super Saiyan 3 Goku, the best, you, you have two possibilities or two chances to do something. 
You can make him a tank, okay? Put him in third, make him a full-blown tank, and have him survive long enough that Miracle Trunks or Majin Vegeta, depending on which team you have, will converge every time, okay? Now, Kai would be the best bet because of that 70% increase in HP. More HP he has, more potential damage he has. Another option that you could go with, if you click on this right here, you go to Go, all right? This increases his HP and crit and crit damage, okay? This is something to also take into consideration because you can have a Go mark on him and have a lot of HP percentage and also have that increasing in critical damage, which is 20% total. And then crit is, let's see, we got 5, 15, 25%. So that. So getting an extra boost in crit, extra boost in critical damage, and extra boost in HP, this dude is going to do so much damage. When it comes to a roll weapon for him, okay? You could do two things. You could go ahead and do Vitality. Usually at God, at star one right here, Vitality gives you 65% attack, 175% on HP, crit resistance, and block. Having him in third, depending on which unit attacks him, having an increase in block, great. He can live longer. Crit resistance, great. It will do less crit to him. 175% on the HP, which means what exactly? He's going to be doing 13% of own max HP added to that damage, which is insane. And then a little boost of 65% attack. That is very good. One thing you can also do, if you would like to do that, is you could go ahead, if you don't have Vitality and you don't only have one, you could go with Iron Wall. That does also 100% defense, which means that he will live longer. 60% HP percentage, which we talked about that, and then 60% attack. Or you could go ahead and do something that is a little bit more on the different side, and depending on the marks that you have, you can increase this dude's dodge. Okay, so Rapid is also a pretty unique weapon to put on him because not many people know, like, put it on him, but we got that crew resistance. Okay, this is a five star weapon. We got 15% current resistance, 15% dodge, 100% on HP, which is very good, 100%. That's pretty good. And then on attack, it's 100%. So if you have the right marks on this dude right here, you are able to have a well-balanced attack, well-balanced HP, matching rapid up with go. This dude is insane higher dodge rate you could probably get block from marks you could get dodge from marks massive boatload of hp percentage crit and crit damage this guy is absolutely amazing or you could go with the route and add vitality to him you know in the beginning of the game i always suggest people to have two vitalities two destructions and one warrior for middle to end game and that would be the best thing to put on your super saiyan 3 goku um Honestly, this is probably one of the better units that I would recommend. You know, Super Saiyan 3 Go tanks did not get a buff. So this guy might be the guy to get. So, guys, if you see him in Hero Rescue and you have a bleed team or you have a critical team, I would recommend getting this dude, especially for that nice little buff that he's getting. Hopefully this video helped you out. I will see you guys in the next episode. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Peace. Impressive.